So let's talk about an oversold stock. What's going on team? It's Ricky with Techwood Solutions. Any question I get pretty often is I love making these videos and based off of the comments, uh, it seems like you guys really enjoy them as well. Like I love good deals and I love buy, being able to buy stocks for a really good price and then hold them and ride them back as they recover. Uh, but how is it that, you know, my goal within these videos and my goal with everything it is that we do is for you not to have to depend on anyone. I don't want you to have to, I want you to, but I don't want you to have to watch my videos to know what stocks are oversold. I want you to know how to do it yourself, right? So uh, the goal is to be self-sufficient and that's exactly what we try to teach within Learn, Plan, Profit 2.0. But let's go ahead and actually break down how you can come across on a daily aspect oversold stock. So Webull, if you guys haven't downloaded it, you don't need to, but it's the trading platform that I use and it's the first link in the description. So with that being said, there's the top gainers under the markets tab and top losers. One of my favorite things to do is we're in earnings season, meaning that a lot of companies are reporting as of right now, Q3 earnings. So it would be a value for me to look at the top gainers as well as the top losers. And I normally look for companies that I am aware of, right? I don't want to buy the dip on companies that I don't know of, companies that were already selling off. Like that's not a deal to me, that's not attractive to me, but if there's a company that I, you know, am familiar with and I see it pop up here, you know, that is my criteria that I essentially look for. And uh, going down the list, I mean, you can double click and this entire checklist will pop up where instead of having to enter each one, you double click and then this whole list, um, you know, is provided for you. So it's very easy to go down the list and to look at the stocks that just recently reported earnings after earnings, but, uh, or after hours, my apologies. But jumping into my screen, one of the ones that really caught my attention, uh, let's see if it's still here. Yeah, so it's Stryker. And if you guys are familiar with Stryker, you guys can comment down below. I actually have a couple, uh, I have a friend that works for Stryker. Uh, and the really cool thing about this is that on the year chart, they're super, super bullish. Uh, look into them, you guys don't have to, but it's a medical device company. They work huge, uh, they're one of the largest ones, if I'm not mistaken, in the nation. Uh, and you know, it's great when a company is doing well, but it's even that much greater when it's doing well when it's publicly traded, right? And you can see, there's, there's a big focus that I have when it comes down to stocks that I wanna buy the dip on. And I want to buy the dip on stocks that are consistently bullish as it's easier to make money if they grow over a grand period of time, right? And if you look at Stryker for the past year, it's been making higher highs and higher lows. It's been consistently bullish. It's not that it never pulls back because it does just like any other stock, but when it pulls back, it makes new highs. It pulls back and then it makes new highs. It pulls back and then makes new highs, pulls back, makes new highs. It's kind of been consolidating, so watch out for that slight resistance. We could see that right around uh, 281, if you guys see that there, uh, but the moving average tends to be a very good indicator for a support level for at least the past couple of months, right? No pattern or no indicator is 100% accurate. Patterns tend to repeat themselves. They don't always have to, but it's great being able to see that Stryker just recently reported earnings. They're down a little bit after market hours and based off of where they're at as of right now, if they were to recover to previous highs or previous resistance level, previous highs are at 281, that's about an 8% margin, but even if it recovers to 276, that's about a 6% return. Again, not a crazy return, but it's a very bullish company over the you know past year. It's very consistent, and some people uh, might find it attractive because of that. If you don't find it attractive, then guess what? The beautiful thing about the stock market is that you don't need to invest or throw your money at just any stock be empowered to be selective. But in this video, I at least wanted to talk about a pretty cheap stock, right? And as well as talk about how it is that you can on the Webull trading platform, you know, come across, you know, stocks on a daily aspect. You turn on this aftermarkets tab and then be able to be aware of what stocks aftermarket hours or even pre-market, right? If you guys wanna look at pre-market and see which stocks are gaining or losing, then again, this is all done within the Weeble platform, which can be very useful. The goal is always to be self-sufficient. I think that we can all agree with that. So uh, let me know in the comment section what you guys think about Striker stock. Is it something that meets your criteria or is it something that you don't see value in and 
you know, maybe you see value in something else. If you think that I should pay attention to a stock right now, comment that down below. But I really do appreciate you guys' time. And again, friendly reminder, if, especially if you're an absolute beginner, I want to encourage you to message me on Instagram. I respond to all of my direct messages. Friendly reminder, I only have one Instagram account and it, it, and it is linked in the description. Sorry about that. It is linked in the description and I have 189,000 followers. Please be aware there's a bunch of fake accounts that are pretending to be me. I never message you first, but if you message me, I always respond. And if you wanna introduce yourself, if you wanna learn a little bit more about our group, whatever it is that you want to learn more about, especially if you're an absolute beginner, send me a message right now and I'd love to connect. Uh, other than that, I hope that we earned your thumbs up. Please consider subscribing and like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy team.